So going on YouTube yesterday, I came across KSI and I was wondering what was up, what that was about. And yesterday I saw this. I don't you mean this them. maliciously, but the words <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But it's, look, we need points. I don't. First of all, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? You can't. You can't go around saying that kind of shit and expecting. People to be like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, it's just a virtual slur. Uh, no, it's not. It ain't just a virtual slur. And the fact that I got, you know what pissed me off? Trump's was laughing as well. How's <laughs> 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 that racist? <laughs> yeah, but it's the start of the country. You can't do that. <laughs> My main point is the fact that he did it, the fact that he said it. It got, it went through the review stages of it being filmed, it being edited, it being reviewed, and it being uploaded. No one called him out on his bullshit and saying, oh, this is, this is, oh, fuck it, this is wrong. This is wrong. And the fact that everyone laughed, even Vic, even Vic, he's, he's, you fucking, Kuta! Fucking A few moments later. I'm like, no man, this is, this is, don't, don't, don't say that shit. Don't say that shit and play it off a bands with the war, you 12. Oh my god. I, I don't give a shit, man. What is this? I don't care about the time. The fact that this guy said it, laughed, and he said it with malicious intent. He said it saying, oh, I'm going to say this word, oh, but I need the points, I need the points. Packy. I'm like, no, you dumb motherfucker. You are 30 years old, and you're acting like as if you're 12. No. This ain't on. This isn't on. And all the people out there be like, oh, it doesn't offend me, I'm South Asian, I'm Pakistani, I'm Bengali, I'm Indian, or I don't, it doesn't offend me. Yeah, no one gives a shit about you, mate. No one gives a shit about you. You're not, you're in the minority because you grew up in this era where you didn't have to endure the racism. Our parents had to endure it. Our grandparents had to endure it when they came to this country. Our great-grandparents had to endure it when they came to this country, they immigrated into this country. It, it happened in the 1990s. It's still happening now. It's still happening now. But people are not doing anything about it because it's not as popular or it's not as strong as the N-word. If I, if I said, hey, if I said that, you lot would be on my ass 24-7. But because I said Bucky, Oh, it's play off the laughs. It this ain't no joke. People die of this shit. People die of this shit. What the fuck? It, this was used way back in the sixties, nineteen sixties and seventies, and especially when people were, go, were being harassed in the streets, when people were being harassed in the shops, when people were being harassed in. Churches and mosques, because of the of the, the, the skin, of the color of the skin, and now you lot are saying, "Oh, it's a joke. It's, it's oh, take it easy. It's, it's not offensive." No, you're in the minority. That is fucked up. Social media has gotten you way too comfy. Social media has made you fucking pussies. I am saying this now because it's my fucking opinion. It's my opinion, and I can say what I want. Yes, I might get it might get taken down. Yes, I might get demonetized. Yes, I might get reported because of this. 
but I do not care because it's my opinion and the fact that this motherfucker said it shows how insignificant this has become. Shows how, how dumb these people are. You lot are so minuscule. You have no common sense. You have no thought of, 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 of what's really going on. This guy's been cancelled twice in the past couple of weeks. First for Wade, and this guy was stupid. This guy is, is, is as dumb as as a I don't know. I'm not. I can't. I can't think of anything at the moment. But this guy's 30 years old, and this guy's dumb. Use your common sense. And for people who are saying it's not offensive, do your fucking research. Do your research. Learn your history. Look into what's been going on. Look into how this word has come about. Because I am not going to educate you on this right now because I haven't been lucky for me. I'm so lucky that I haven't been personally, uh, I've been personally dealt with this type of racism. Granted, my name is White, so I can catfish people with my job. It's gone. I'm making a drink about it now. But at the same time, I'm so grateful because I live in a, in a generation where you don't get to experience that much racism. Granted, black people get more racist marks than Indian people. I might be wrong because I've grown up in a multicultural area, so I haven't seen a lot of that. But the fact is, I've been called Taliban, I've been called this, I've been called that. Yes, I have. And I'm looking at the time right now because I know how I have a 10 minute mark. But that, that's not going to stop me from saying what I need to say. The fact that he apologised as well and saying, oh, I am sorry, I want to apologise for my racial slur. No, I'm not going to accept the apology because you, you knew full well that you said it wholeheartedly and then you put it out there for everyone to know, for everyone to hear and then you expect people to be like, oh, it was my mistake, I shouldn't have said it. You said it knowing the fact that you know that's a bad word. That's a racial slur. And then you, uh, you, as well as your editors, left that in there, knowing that it was, it was racist. And the fact that you're saying, I want to apologize. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to accept this apology. And second of all, why are you making it all about yourself? No one's putting it on the pedestal. No one's putting it on the pedestal. Apologize and fuck off. Fuck off. You're a YouTuber. You are not mainstream celebrity. Yeah, okay. Granted that. But still, you influence kids. You're an influencer for kids. Yes, no. Influencer, no. We grew up with you and the fact that you're doing this is very fucked up. It's fucked up. And my problem is now, people say racial slurs knowing that they said it they leave it in the video and when they release it for the public to see and they get called out then they apologize no don't do that just refuse your edit look over what's been going on look over what's wrong cut that out and maybe you wouldn't have a problem but don't put something in there knowing that it's wrong releasing it to the public and then apologizing after getting called out even though you know it was bad don't do that learn from your mistakes man just learn from your fucking mistakes we got to do better as an ethnic minority part of people we need to do better come on man